One thing that's been bizarre in my covering of alternative therapies and crazy quack doctors is the surprising realisation that thinking that it was the worst place in the world for this was America. Turns out I was wrong. Turns out Australia might not be, would probably be as bad, if not worse, as America. Now, recently in Australia, there's been this big case where this chiropractor has been a large fine slapped against him. And this has been great because the Australian government has gone after this guy for claiming that, you know, chiropractic um, can cure cancer. And I was claiming other various things as these quacks normally do so what happens now is that now there's going to be a hearing with the chiropractic board of australia now i don't know how this is going to go but i have a sneaking suspicion this guy is going to keep his license however i'd urge you if you live in australia to tweet at them write to them email them that this guy needs to lose his license because there is no way that this guy should be allowed to continue. Because in Australia, the chiropractic board that governs chiropractors over there will state that chiropractors are not allowed to have uh, any anti-vax material or preach any anti-vax message. Yet a cursory glance at some... Uh, Australian chiropractors revealed that they are brazenly opening, displaying this, and even touting this message, as well as other things like you know this guy just did. He you know he said you know a regular visit to the chiropractor can cure cancer and keep it away, and that is outlandishly false. But the board itself is a big worry because in the past when these have been found out and chiropractors have gone up against the board the board has done nothing it's not even given them a, a fine it's just don't do it again <laughs> and to my knowledge there have been repeat offenders brought up against the board and all the board has done is literally just wagged their finger at them and told them not to do it again when it's been their second or even third time up against the board for the exact same thing. So, if this guy does keep his license, then there should be a massive outcry in Australia. If he does lose his license, which he should, and I hope he does, I hope the chiropractic board does take away his license, then this could signal a move... Um, not only in the position of the board, but the Australian government is now going to start cracking down on the quacks that are operating in Australia, which will be a good thing.